Well, my name's Sean Tompkins, and I'm Chief Exec of RICS. Tony Keane, President and CEO for International Facility Management Association. It's been nearly a year ago when we uh, got together and talked about many of the things that are happening in the FM world and how uh, we might come together and collaborate to really help advance the industry, to improve uh, the profession, to raise its profile and height and standards. I mean, Tony, we're, how far do you think we've got? Well, I think you know when we laid out that plan and that path a year ago, um, you know, I think we were very aggressive in terms of what we wanted to get accomplished. And uh, amazingly, our two organizations, I think, have really worked together well to make some of those things happen. Yeah. So, uh, you know, with the recent launch of our FM dot training site and the, the the training programs and the credentials and the professional qualifications that are all in one spot, making it easy for people that are involved in facility management to uh, find the training that they're looking for. And I think the marketplace said to us, in, in all the conversations that we yeah. had, we went around and saw many of the people in the industry, many of the people running major uh, FM organizations, and they said to us that what they really want are consistent uh, standards, yeah. they want uh, recognized qualifications, uh, and they want to abandon the frag fragmentation in the industry. And that, that's what we said we were going to do. Exactly. And, and my view is we, we've done that with launching what we've just launched. I would agree with you, Sean. I mean, it's. Um, I think you know, what this collaboration has done is it's really has changed the conversation that we're seeing in the FM industry. And that is a, a real important aspect to raising, you know, to lack of a better word, the raising the bar. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's what we needed to do. And so um, I think we're seeing that. I think the amount of content that we're being able to now start generating and creating and the, uh, the conferences that we're doing together, and, you know, the World Workplace Series and the, uh, the FM Leader Symposiums and it's, uh, it's exciting times for FM. Yeah. And I think the other thing that we said was that, you know, actually we need to try and get people to see this as a career, a, a real opportunity to raise the profile of a profession and, and for people to really see it as a profession. And that was one of the things that you and I said we really want to put a lot of effort yes. into, which is to start to show the role, role models, see the people in the industry so that we inspire the next generation. Yeah. And I think this is the exciting part because, you know, Bringing more students and young people into this profession is going to be critical for the future of facility management. And, uh, you know, the more that we can do to create that environment, show all the benefits of the career and uh, what a strategic role that facility management can play within an organization uh, is critical to the success. I think one of the things that we also were really, I think, keen on was the fact that we could see that actually you know, the whole of the industry really needs to come together now to really make yeah. changes in the built environment, that we've got to stop seeing things in silos and actually find ways to get people collaborating to, you know, understand that when you build something, it has a consequence to facility management down the line. And, you know, and I think between the two organisations, we're getting more professionals now talking to each other to create better solutions all around. Exactly. And, um, you know, I think... You know, it'd be interesting to hear from you, Sean, in terms of how the rest of your membership is here, you know, looking at this. Um, because, you know, they were asking a lot of questions about FM before. And now, I mean, you know, you've been able to, you know, pull this whole together in terms of a tremendous amount of information on facility management and a lot more exposure. Yeah. And look, I think they're really welcome in putting the FM voice at the table. I think everybody recognizes now that... You know, when we're looking to do some of the incredible things that require, you know, for all the urban development of the world, the fact that the population's expanding, we're going to have more people living in cities and working in cities than we've ever seen. You know, that it requires all of the different skills in the built environment now to come together, to listen, to understand those challenges, and to come up with even better solutions using all the new technology that's going to exactly. be around at the same time. Yeah, the technology, I mean, as we all know, is just changing rapidly and it's going to, you know, significantly impact the built environment and how we operate through the life cycle of the built environment. So it's going to be exciting times. And I think maybe that's where the things are that we need to look yeah. into the future. You know, actually, I think working together to think about how does technology really have an impact to the built environment in facilities management? You know, how do we advance standards on an international mm -hmm. basis to really give... Uh, the profession, that status and standing, and how do we keep working in all the geographies around the world? I mean, we've been launching this together in many countries now, <laughs> yes, and have. the response has been great. It has been, and, and I think that, um, you know, we're 
you know, launched this whole aspect of the collaboration. We've got some great successes so far. And I look forward to continuing to work with you, Sean, on uh, the next phases in terms of how we really leverage this collaboration, not into just existing products and services, but the new products and services that we're going to be able to generate together. Well, first phase done, second phase, let's get it done. Exactly.